Before he became heavyweight champion of the world, Knoxville's Big John Tate won a bronze medal in the 1976 Summer Olympics. Here's a look at the start of his professional journey. In March of 1977, John Tate signed to Bob Arum's top-ranked promotions. Still unable to write, Tate signed his name on the contract with an X. By May of that year, Tate was making his professional debut, winning his initial outing by a fifth-round TKO over Jerry Tompkins. He was a big guy, that's for sure. You know, and he was easy going, you know, easy to communicate with, uh, coachable. You know, he would put the time in. I mean, you sat there and you worked with him hours and hours, you know, and he'll work as long as you would. He was dedicated. He wasn't a, a, a fast boxer. He wasn't a one-punch knockout fighter. He's the kind of guy that, uh, that you don't get tired on, you know, because he's still going to be there. You know, he, he plotted, you know, and he put his punches together and just, he worked. Over the next two years, Tate would step into the ring 16 more times, compiling a record of 17 wins and no losses with 14 of his wins by knockout. With early careers like any boxer's early career, you start out with weaker opponents because you're trying to gain the knowledge uh, of, of boxing and the different styles. And then you start upgrading your competition. Uh, you'll do that for the first 15 fights at least. And then now it's time to move on up. All right, Dwayne Bobbick in the red trunks on the left. His first big test would come in January of 1979 against former National Golden Gloves champion Dwayne Bobbick. Like Tate, he too lost to Stevenson in the 72 Olympics. But Bobbick boasted an impressive 48-2 record with 42 wins coming by knockout. But just over two minutes into the fight. Now, we're less than a minute to go in round one. Bobbick has been down once already and catching the punches. They hand feed you matches, okay? Matches that you're supposed to win. Okay, and they build this great big old record up there, and the guy can't fight. <laughs> you know, so as John took him to school at night. <laughs> you know, we knew John could fight, and he took care of business. He was trying to make a statement, and I'm here, and I'm going to have to be dealt with. And just like that, at only 23 years of age, Tate found himself in the race for a shot at the heavyweight title. And what a win for John Tate. You'll see a smile that closely resembles that of Muhammad Ali. Our documentary, Knoxville's Forgotten Champion, the story of Big John Tate is available in its entirety right now at WBIR.com and WBIR's YouTube channel. Robin?